I think the biggest constraint is to actually reduce the perception of risk for the private sector. Because the private sector wants to be involved, but they want to make sure that the investments are actually going to be beneficial. So in that respect, we have to de-risk, which means to help the private sector in order for them to invest and make profitable decisions from their own investments. And, and I think it's key for countries, including Canada and others, to continue to do what we've been doing. One example is what Canada has been doing in the context of uh, agri-processing, where we have supported the agri-food uh, uh, um, catalytic financing mechanism, which will help attract private sector resources in order to help small and medium-sized enterprises, including those who are benefiting, that are benefiting women in majority so they can make a difference on the continent. But we can also see that in other areas where countries will be helping the private sector in terms of attracting their resources, their technology, but also their capacity. And we have to tell the story of the continent in a way which allows them to understand what the risks are, but also what the opportunities are. The reality is that the private sector is looking for beneficial investments. They want to make profit for their shareholders. So for us, we need to de-risk. And part of de-risking is to provide guarantees, for example. We can provide lines of credits. We can also extend concessional funding. And one example of that is what Canada did uh, a couple of years ago through the Canada um, Africa Climate uh, Financing, $130 million, which will help actually attract more finance from the private sector in order to deal with uh, climatic challenges that the continent is facing. So that's, that's a concrete example of what I'm talking about.